What's up guys, Pyromaniac720 here, and I have for you game three of my best of three set versus Serapis of the VGC. So he won game one. Um, looked like I was gonna lose game two. I, he had a 3v1 versus my Hydragon, and I pulled it out, which was awesome. I've never really done that before, except with Mega Venusaur once against a rain team. Um, so here we go, game three. Um, so I'm gonna lead Gardevoir Malamar because I'm worried about that Salamence coming in. Um, Tailwind has proved to be huge in both games, so I'm going to bring Talonflame in the back. And Kangaskhan really doesn't do too much to this team. Uh, I think that Hydreigon is actually the better, the better Pokemon to bring for me. So I'm going to bring Hydreigon, and I'm going to leave Kangaskhan and Rotom, Rotom Heat. Um, so hopefully this game works out like Game Two. Um, game. Game two is interesting. Uh, in case you didn't see it, I had three hypnosis hypnosis Is that how you say it? three hypnosis misses? Um, which, I mean, that's what happens when you run a move at 60 accuracy. I mean, it's, that's my own fault. I'm not too, I'm not upset about it at all. I mean, I, I expected that to happen. Uh, but he missed a sleep powder miss on the last turn that would have most likely won him the game. So I guess it ends up working out in the end. But. Um, so yeah, an exciting game three here between the two of us. Uh, he didn't bring his Mega to game... I didn't bring my Mega to game one, and he didn't bring his Mega to game two, so maybe the Megas are, like, the answer. I should have brought Kangaskhan, thinking about it. I just... I, I think his Chandelier's choice locked, so I could have just sucker punched it to Oblivion. Um, his Lucario... Undertale one, I beat, beat his Lucario with Hammer Arm. Um... Venusaur I can hit pretty hard with return. So he's gonna lead, oh, he's gonna lead right in with the pledge again. So I know both his Pokemon run protect. <laughs> oh, I got protein. Cool. <laughs> I'll become a pure fairy now. Or psychic. Oh, I'm gonna become psychic. That way he can't hit me with sludge bomb. Um, so I'm going to go psychic on his Venusaur. And I'm going to try and put his <laughs> I'm gonna try and put him to sleep again. Here we go. Fourth, fourth try for hypnosis in this best of three set. Let's see how it works out. Um, so obviously he's gonna mega evolve his Venusaur. So that means he didn't bring. Well, he might have brought Lucario. I don't know. I don't know if he ever brings it outside of Mega form. Uh, so yeah, obvious, obvious Mega Venusaur. I'm curious what he's gonna do. Maybe he'll map lock. Well, he's gonna go right into the pledge. What are you gonna hit? I think he's gonna go for Gardevoir. No, he's. They do not like. He's not like Malamar at all. So now I'm slow. Pure psychic type. No more sludge bombs from you. Yes, I hit hypnosis. Oh my lord, was that so hard? Jesus. Wow, that was like the most annoying thing ever. Alright, so, will he protect Venusaur and hope for the turn one wake up? I'm going to double target his Greninja. With Psychic. Oh, so he didn't protect. That I probably should have just gone for the Psychic. Malamar survive? Aw, oh, man. Oh, I'm dead this turn. I should have just gone for the Simple Beam. What? He used Water Pledge. He should be a pure Water type. If someone wants to help me, I don't know what I'm missing. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't like this. Alright, so Town Flames in. I have a lot of offensive pressure right now. I'm gonna hit him with. I'm gonna hit. I have to use Brave. I'm locked into Psychic, so. I'm gonna Brave Bird the Greninja, and I'm just gonna go for Psychic on the, the Venusaur. Damn it, what happened? I don't understand. Alright, so I'm guessing the Sludge Bomb's coming in. Probably on Town Flame, but I don't know. Sludge Bomb's not super effective on 
on Garbar thanks to Protein, so... Here comes the Sludge Bomb on Talonflame. Don't poison. Alright, good. So I can set up Tailwind next turn. And then I'll have Gardevoir. Gardevoir and Hydreigon versus Talonflame. I mean versus uh, whatever his last two Pokemon are. Probably Haxorus. Oh, that'd be beautiful with Double Dragon. Haxorus. And Chandelure. Alright, so I'm feeling really good about this. See, this is where bringing Kangaskhan would have been nice. Alright, so Psychic and Tailwind. I'm just gonna. I, I think he's gonna protect with Haxorus, thinking that I'm going to Moonblast him, but he doesn't know. I don't think he knows I'm Scarf, so I'm locked into Psychic. Um. Or maybe he's Bandit, I don't know. Or maybe, maybe he's Scarf. Maybe I had the Chandelier all, all wrong this whole time. It's tough to tell because of the Swamp. I don't know if things are actually faster. Oh, he's going to one-hit KO my Gardevoir. I should have switched out Gardevoir for Hydreigon. Did not think that one through. <laughs> so we're going to be down to another two-on-one. So that's cool. Two-on-ones are always fun. I mean, he's really thinking, too. He's like, has he got Kangaskhan in the back? I think he's worried about having Kangaskhan in the back because then he can't he can't Shadow Ball me if he's locked into whatever he's locked into. Or maybe he's not locked in. This is his, the mind games right now. I don't know if he's locked into a move or what. The world may never know. This Chandelure just laughed. That was creepy. I love Ghost Pokemon. I love Chandelure. It's probably my, my second favorite Gen 5 Pokemon behind Hydreigon. Uh, mostly because it's purple. I love purple's my favorite color. In case you guys haven't met me in real life, my DS is purple and it's nice. I mean, it's the same purple DS everyone has, but. Uh, so I go for the Tailwind. He goes for the Dragon Claw. Obvious KO. Oh my god, this is where things are gonna get like tricky on me. Alright, so he's got Life Orb. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bank on the fact that he can't hurt me with. Uh... All right, so good thing I brought Hydra on. So I'm gonna bank on the fact that he can't hit me with with Chandelier. I'm gonna protect and see. I'm just gonna scout him. I hope I really hope he protects his his Haxorus. That would be so perfect. Nope. Alright, I think he's choice locked. He's gotta be. Although, he would use a fire attack otherwise. So here we go. Don't protect. Don't protect. Yes. And I hit it. <laughs> the question is now, can I two hit KO his, his Chandelier without him? I don't think he's gonna two hit KO me. I, I don't know if that's possible. Well, I'm sure it's possible, but I mean, I don't. Unless he's running some sort of like specs, maybe? He's got to be locked in. I mean, ugh, this is really bugging me. No special defense drop. Oh, thank God. All right, so here it is, one-on-one. -on -one. My two favorite Gen 5 Pokemon, facing off. Life Orb damage might do me in. Oh, I get the flinch. Oh, my Lord. Oh my lord, that was exciting. Wow. Now we'll find out if he's Scarfed. No Swamp, no Tailwind. If he outspeeds me, he's Scarfed. Because I'm modest 252 speed. There's no way a Chandelure can outspeed. I don't think... A, definitely a Timber can't sit. Wow. Definitely a Timber Chandelure can't outspeed that. Is Shadow Ball going to be enough? Okay, so he's not Scarfed. All right, so that was my best of three set versus Serapis of the VGC, which I won. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and hopefully you like my team. Uh, until next time, guys, bye.